And then there's some really, really good news this week because um, I've been quite lucky again. Um, Alicia sold me a, a banana boat for a very, very special um, price. So I have a dinghy now that can be sailed, rowed or motored. So that's that's pretty neat and um, as I said it was a, a real bargain and then, and it just came in the right um, time because the dinghy that I had that had been given to me uh, from the marine I actually had to give it back because someone claimed possession of it so that was a bummer but you know I found a new one so that's awesome and and we 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 built it up and we went for a little trial run just to see because I wanted to see how it works like um, and if I can roll it easily and um, it was fun it was fun and I it was good distraction from work and I'm really looking forward to using it There's no traveler on Carl for the for the main sail. Um, instead of that, it has um, it's a system where, where you use actually two uh, main sheets uh, for instead of having a traveler. So you can choose which which side you you're actually gonna um, pull. Um, but when I when I bought the boat, I only found one 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 um, sheet for the main sail. And also, it was a really tiny sheet, actually. So I had to bring two more pulleys from from Germany, and um, and now I just mounted the second sheet, and I exchanged also the the old sheet to to a slightly um, bigger sheet and newer one because the other one was getting kind of stuck. So that's another. It's not big, but um, important <laughs> important project ticked off the list. Mounting the new winches was a pretty big project actually. Um, the base of the new winch is bigger than my old winch because it's a self-tailing winch so it, it has a, a bigger base. So the holes that have been in the in the aluminium for the old winch wouldn't fit for the new winch. And not only that, also um, only three of the two holes um, where you put the bolts through can actually be reached from underneath. So there's two holes where you, where I actually have to put in threads instead of just holes. And um, I've never made a thread before in my life. So I took a little piece of um, aluminium and went to the workshop and just, you know, just played around a little bit to see if I can do it and how it works and so so I don't mess up my my boat um, with a trial run but you know do two or three little threads before and it actually worked out pretty well I think so once I had done that and I and I had put um, a bolt into the into the trial run hole to see if it, it's actually working out um, I went back to the boat and uh, drilled some more holes into Carl, which is actually quite scary because I've just spent a lot of time fixing holes and now I'm putting new ones in. And then yeah, I had to put some isolation between the aluminium and um, the base of the winch because uh, that's um, Enox. And for that I just used a, a kitchen cutting board, like a, a small one. So I cut out like the base of the winch and I just put it in between the base of the winch and the aluminium. And I guess that's gonna 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 do a good job. Well, mounting winches is something where you definitely need two people because uh, one person has to be uh, on the top side uh, tightening the, the bolts, and um, one person has to be uh, underneath and then holding the 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 nuts. I was lucky because Leish was there no. to to help me, and uh, so well I had to crawl into into Carl into Carl's back um, storage room and uh, it, it's 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 not my favorite room because it's not very comfortable and, um, but anyways uh, and, and then uh, we finally mounted the winches 
And just before putting the the top on and to hear the first clicking sounds of uh, the brand new winches, Aloysia made some really, really nice sandwiches for lunch, so that was awesome. Well, they're finally mounted. I, I learned a lot in this process and um, they seem to be kind of stable. I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll try them out tomorrow and, uh, and see if they work. I really hope they're not going to fall off because <laughs> they're quite valuable. Um, but yeah, so that's definitely a nice sound of the new winches. Well, looks like uh, Carl's ready um, to go for a trial run and it's, it's time to untie the lines, at least for a day. But more about that next week.